How you guys doing? Thanks for joining me. Let's cover something that people don't like to talk about. The Antichrist here is not the Pope, it's not the President, it's actually you. You need to become the Antichrist yourself. It's that they flipped everything around on you and you can't see it, people. It's your church is the one going around pushing Earth's new ruler. Clearly, they've flipped everything around on you. Clear as day. You can't escape this, people. That your church is going door to door pushing a one world government and a ruler. It's clear your church is 100% satanic and Jesus is a little Zeus, which is Saturn. You can see here by the cubes, they rub in your face. Okay, inescapable shit, people. Okay, you need to become the Antichrist yourself. God is the one who hexed you. See for yourself. Go over here to your computer and type in sacred geometry. Okay, very simple. And go to part one. And it's going to show you clear as day. Okay, start over here. And you'll see what God had to do to create the universe. You must also understand that what I'm showing here graphically is not a reality. That is, the structures being created are not material in any form. They are imaginary lines. They are pure consciousness. You may need to pause or replay this video several times before the implications become apparent to you. At this point, God is halfway to creating space. In order to complete this process, it must define some boundaries. Because as I mentioned before, the void is infinite. And if no boundaries are defined, then relative movements of spirits remain impossible. To define some boundaries, all God needs to do is connect the end of every point to the end of every other point. The beauty of this, and indeed the entire process itself, is that God cannot make a mistake. It is simply impossible. Once all the ends are connected, what we have is an octahedron, which if viewed from the correct perspective, reveals a hexagram. Alright, there's your hexagram. If viewed from the correct perspective, you get your hexagram. That's what you see at the center of the Star of David. Everything's been flipped on you. You need to become the Antichrist yourself. You've been so flipped up in reverse, you can't see it, people. I'm telling you, you've been worshiping Satan your entire life. You're doing it right now. That's where attention goes, energy flows, and symbols of the language of the universe. So you're, you're a Jesus lover. You're, you're worshiping little Zeus, the cube. He's the... He's, Jesus is the cube. It's the unfolded cube. It's inescapable, people. You unfold your cube. You have your plus sign and then the top piece, the one you put on your head when you graduate, called squaring your circle. Everybody has been hexed and sleeping. You need to become the Antichrist yourself to save the fucking world. And you're a silly human slave. You know nothing of truth. And you're going to leave your silly comments. <laughs> but listen... You breathe Satan's chemical air. You drink Satan's fluoridated water. You eat Satan's poisoned food. See my video where I drag all your food across water using only a neodymium magnet. It's you take Satan's poison vaccines. You speak Satan's language, which is uh, is what the computer speaks. Language. You're supposed to be on telepathy. You have gold fever virus. You let people die over this worthless paper backed by your own stupidity, and people can't afford operations or whatever medical procedures because they don't have money and they die. That's worthless paper backed by, not gold, stupidity. And you have time virus. Time is only for the slaves to get to work on time, pay your bills on time, pay your taxes on time, get to indoctrination classes on time. You're a freaking robot because of time. And your cell phone absolutely makes you a cyborg. you got cameras on every one of your devices. They're tracking you nonstop everywhere you go. You're cube to cube to cube. It doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. People can't rip you away from this cube, that cube. This cube, it's cube to cube to cube all day. You're spending Satan's paper money, which is worthless, and they rub it in your face, the sine wave. You are 100% cube satanic, and you need to snap the fuck out of your illusion, okay? You are the slave class reptilian, and your the rulers, they're the blue bloods. They rub it in your fucking face. You're a red-blooded human. You're the food class. You have a reptilian core to your brain. You are the slave class. So don't tell me... The reptilian shapeshifter videos are bullshit. You're a silly human slave. When you've been recycled over and over and over, you're living Groundhog Day over and over and over. You keep entering the light and you keep getting recycled. And they rub it in your face. In the beginning of DreamWorks, they show you the man fishing for souls in the pack in the moon. And you see Pac-Man, you chase and down your own soul. 
listen, this is rubbed in your face nonstop, nonstop. It's that everything you know is a lie. And you just can't see it for whatever reason. You want to sit here and tell me that the chakra chart doesn't show you with the hexagram over your heart? You're going to sit there and tell me that your God didn't hex you? You're insane, people. You're absolutely, you're so far off from reality. It's rubbed in your face on everything. And look, you need to become the fucking antichrist yourself. You need to become the antichrist yourself. Face it, your Jesus is a little Zeus. He's not coming to save you. He's the one who's enslaved you. Your God hexed you. Your Jesus is Saturn. It's Saturn, which is little Zeus, and Jupiter, which is Jupiter, uh, which is Zeus, and little Zeus. Okay, you can see the sine wave. They're rubbing your face. You've been squared. Okay, that's when you put your, you put that thing over your head when you graduate from school. Your motor board. Okay, you are 100% cube satanic. Your wedding ring makes you satanic. Your language makes you satanic. Everything about you oozes 100% Satan, and Jesus is Satan 100%. God is Satan 100%. You need to snap out of your illusion. You need to deny peacefully for your survival, and you need to start worshiping each other. Now, God told Satan to worship man above God himself, and Satan refused, and he was cast down to earth. This is the story that they hide from you, or some people know this, some people don't. They have some other story that they were told, but... Here you are now in your carbon 666 flesh pack, you're imprisoned by your 50 trillion prison cells, and your kundalini, you're, nat you're naturally a star at your heart, and you've been trapped by your kundalini, and now you're forced to take a shit, get horny, get hungry, a pain in your heart, a frog in your throat, you get a headache and your scalpel tighten up, that's the seven inside you, and then there's three above you, but your angel wings and your halo, and two below you is the soles of your feet, you're supposed to be barefoot walking on dry non-conductive soil, and grounding out every day for 45 minutes and you should be a sun gazer superhuman and if you're not going to be a sun gazer superhuman then what you could do is start growing your own uh your own food like what you see on my porch i'm taking it to the limit out here out here sorry but you can see anybody can do this if i, if I can do this anybody can fucking do this and this is a winter garden over here in Florida. See this? Got plants growing left and right. Anybody could do this. And you need to line everybody else's porch with fruit bearing trees, non GMOs. Listen, people, you're cube to cube to cube all day, satanic. You're the food class. All your food is killing you, you breathe Satan's chemical air, you drink his fluoridated water, you take his poison foods, poison vaccines, you take his education, which is not education, it's indoctrination, and everything about you is being kept in prison systems, NSA, every text you make, every call you make, every email you send, everything about you, every location you go to, your phones are listening to you, your devices are constantly listening to you, look at uh, the laws that they passed, they showed it to you in your face, they show it to you on they don't even hide any of this stuff. It's Everything's out in the open, people. You need to become the Antichrist yourself. You're a silly human slave. You need to start worshiping each other and stop, and stop with this insanity because if you can't worship each other and you say your God created all these people and everything and now you can't worship God's creation, I mean, you're just sick. You're silly and you need to check up from your neck up. Get to my channel for truth immediately and catch up on reality. You are 100% cube satanic. Your Jesus is little Zeus. Your God is Satan, Saturn. Everything you know is a lie, and you need to become the Antichrist yourself. How are you? Thanks for joining me. We're going to go over the flat earth stuff. You see over here, Congrats. That looks like Con, and the G definitely stands for gay, like Mr. Garrison. Okay, Mrs. Garrison. And you see rats, clearly. Congrats. Con the gay rats. That's what we see here. And you see, like, that's a ribbon that typically has, like, a bow coming off it. They're showing you the rays of the light. It's the sun above your head. And you know candy canes are clearly telling you that Jesus places his light into the hole, going around and around and around like this, moving inward and outward. And if that light doesn't go in that hole, then there's no Mrs. Garrison, Mr. Garrison coming out. And you can see... 
This is Jesus, clearly. You can look at his, uh, the beard. Okay, that's Jesus, the candy cane. And you see he's in a T, like he's on a cross. They're rubbing it in your face, people. Okay, and it's not the one eye that they're showing you here, because this is like the eye would be on top, or it's the, what you're seeing over here. This is the divine feminine. At the center of the dish is the Holy of Holies. So